this cup is going to be over and then we have to wait another year. That's this such will, a pity. Can we do this time. every six months? Yeah, every weekend we should uh, do this <coughs> every weekend. No, 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 no. I wanna <laughs> every weekend. I, I will you have some visions? Maybe yeah, you have well to see <coughs> the doctor. If you have visions. I, no, yeah, I have visions a lot. Uh, I see the future. The I can plates. see the future, Jörg. That's from 2007. This is from 2010. That's and that's the player I was mentioning that was going to be washed away by the dishwasher <laughs> in the restaurant <laughs> a couple of years ago. This is the history of the plates of the Champions Cup. 2014. I like that one a lot uh, yeah. with the diver. And then we, we have, that have at home. this one in 2016. Oh, that's this that's nice. That's a new one. Really good. Looks like aliens. Yes. So that's part of the. You get the cup and you get the plate. Very nice. So those, these are the trophies for the Champions Cup, the plates. Um, yes, I agree. It's a very good uh, quality game we just saw uh, from the Austrian team and the Merits uh, too. It's so great to see, you know, the more women team are growing uh, in other parts and uh, that, 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 that there was not in the, in the past. Uh, so we, here we, we are, Barcelona women. against, uh, from Spain in blue against Firenze in white. And uh, I think Firenze uh, definitely wants Firenze, to win this game. Yeah. They need to win this game uh, to get... I was uh, not really happy about yesterday. No. They had the <coughs> last game. They were they finished very late and they lost against Zurich for 4-0. And they were not happy with the performance because they know they can do better. So I believe they're going to put everything what they can to win against Barcelona. But I have to tell that sadly... Uh, I think Barcelona is going to win. I mean, this is my um, your guess. My guess for this game. Barcelona uh, has been has shown also the great games and more discipline um, than what Firenze. That's what I've seen uh, of Firenze. Maybe Firenze has a better day today, and they because they're very experienced players. They do. They uh, so we know far. them from Firenze Cup. Uh, for a long time and they play uh, very for but a long look, time uh, very Barcelona is already coming up already with uh, three men position underneath in the middle right and left uh, Firenze recovered the ball but they have been apparently a <coughs> call from the referee a free throw for Barcelona against Firenze here the goalie is already on the goal and uh, so the uh, Barcelona players cannot steal the goal from them in this free throw um, uh, we have uh, we are two minutes in the first half, and this is the free throw for Barcelona. They are coming in uh, from the open side and try to. Uh, uh, he's looking for a position to 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 play to his teammates, and there was one on the open side. Tr he tried to grip the neck uh, of the goalie, but was uh, tackled to the surface. But still, he could uh, keep hold of the ball. Friend and. Uh, Spain is now with two players under the basket of Firenze, but again tackled away to the surface. But uh, Firenze does not um, seem to be able to uh, recover the ball and to um, break free of the attack of uh, uh, Barcelona. Yeah, we have the fierce fight and the Barcelona player is holding to the ball. Um, and now... Mm, yeah, they got it free and now they're attacking, but three of the Italian players are defending. Now the way the goalies did a very close uh, switch, not to leave, uh, leave an, uh, an open space. And uh, we have on the close corner, uh, they're fighting for the ball and it looks like the Italians got it. And now they're trying to swim away, but it needs uh, to dive a little bit deeper. They are uh, the first meter down from the surface and this is the moment where um, you start getting, you know, in clusters and fight, and the deeper you are, the the, fry, the freer the, the way normally. Uh, Barcelona recover the ball with not really a big uh, problem, and now they're trying to swim a counter attack. And a uh, schönen Tag für dich, Peter Graz. Uh, danke, und wir werden hier die Rest der Spiele genießen. Dir auch einen schönen Tag. Uh, we are now, we should be. It's so nice how the sun shines Absolutely. through the pool it's right now. Absolutely, it's beautiful. 
were. But uh, Firenze is defending. I probably <laughs> Firenze is not being able to enjoy the sun going through the pool. But the problem with uh, with the Firenze defending is they they the only chance they have they tackle away uh, the uh, attackers from Barcelona, uh, go to the surface. But there we have a cluster then, and and almost every time. Um, uh, Barcelona is able to recover the ball, uh, so Firenze is still forced to be in the defense, and uh, they—they—it's so difficult for them to break through. We have a stop of the game now. Everybody was waiting for the player at the close side of the pool in the corner to start. Uh, Firenze players and uh, uh, Barcelona players all on the surface, nobody moving. That was quite funny in moment, and uh, we have again uh, uh, an attack of uh, Barcelona now from uh, the open side in the middle of the pool but uh, again tackling uh, from uh, Firenze again to the surface uh, with a cluster on the surface now and uh, the ball is still on the surface and it's right above uh, the basket of Firenze uh, which is uh, not a good thing because the, the defense is forced to be down and the ball can always drop. So uh, another attack um, uh, from uh, Barcelona over the open side, over the goalie, but very well defended by Firenze. And now we have a chance for Firenze to break through. Um, they are two, three players, uh, inch by inch, they uh, work their way through the forechecking defense of uh, Barcelona. But uh, um, we're in the half of the uh, Barcelona Spanish team, but... Uh, they the recovered the ball very good. Yeah, they, they, their uh, forechecking is uh, very uh, consistent and aggressive. Yeah, I mean, they swim a little bit faster and they're a little bit more agile in their way they move underwater. Um, Italy is, uh, is a little bit more playing, more a little bit with strength, and Barcelona with a little bit more of mobility. That's my impression. Uh, we have the Italian trying to attack over the close corner, uh, but uh, they're tackled away by the defense of um, Barcelona. They are on top of the basket of Barcelona, fighting for the ball. We can see who uh, recovered by Firenze, trying to pass, and they're trying to attack three of them but they almost got into each other's way and uh, that's a pity that would have been a nice attack of the three Firenze players less now than four minutes from left from above trying to pull away the goalie but too high up and then they pass down to one of the players but they are too high you cannot be at the level of the basket and you need to be deeper because that's the area where the defenders and um, the um, four checkers uh, defend and then you lose the ball like happened here uh, a little bit um, well I mean no the uh, Fidenses still stay in possession of the ball great job and um, sometimes so many bubbles that I, I don't see where the ball is uh, we have now um, a free throw for uh, Barcelona against, against Firenze. Yep. I and didn't uh, see what was the fault. The uh, Firenze is, uh, spends a lot of time defending its basket, and um, I guess uh, if uh, Barcelona keeps up the pressure like this, uh, they uh, eventually will score. I think it's in uh, the uh, fierce means uh, Firenze Superquatico. Uh, which means uh, Firenze Rugby Sub Aquo. Well, the Firenze, Firenze uh, Florence uh, underwater rugby team uh, is uh, the abbreviation is Fierce Firenze uh, Rugby Sub Aquo. Rugby Sub Aquo. Oh, here we go. There is an attack on the open side. Um, I don't know why this uh, attacker, he had the ball, why he didn't go for the goalie. Um, and there's again the last chance of a tackle. And uh, Barcelona is in ball possession. And Barcelona does a really good job attacking, recovering the ball uh, around uh, the fierce uh, basket and going in for another attack. But uh, until now, they uh, 
didn't have uh, uh, the 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 executing killing moment for uh, for uh, for a score. Um, they were in good position. They had many possibilities, but uh, Firenze. Um, is doing a good job. Now we have an attack. Uh, it looks like there's a heavy pressure from the close side. Now the change of the bus of the goalie and uh, the save uh, for Firenze was uh, ah, there was a difficult pass back to the goalie uh, because there was no player from Firenze in front of the counter attacker. And uh, it takes now they they were at the goal of uh, of Barcelona, but uh, the first counter attacker was all alone, and it took uh, the uh, these teammates too long to reach him, and now they are in a tackle fight uh, behind the goal at the closed wall. Um, so uh, th there is no no decision yet. 33 three seconds left. In his first half, call from the referee. Uh, didn't see what happened. Um, first uh, teams are already uh, finished the Champions Cup, and uh, I think uh, the first are uh, celebrating already. And. Uh, after uh, two uh, days of uh, heavy underwater rugby playing, uh, the first beer always uh, has a very relaxing effect and we see some of the players uh, walking not uh, really very steady through the hall. All right, this was the first half uh, of uh, Barcelona against uh, Firenze. And uh, I think uh, this game is in favor of uh, Barcelona. Uh, they look uh, <coughs> more focused into the game. Uh, they look uh, uh, fitter than uh, the, the game is fitter, more better condition. Yeah, conditioned. but they haven't been able to, to score, and that's in a, a big... Uh, um, yeah, what Always looking in the camera. <laughs> a big... Um, compliment to Italy because they have been a lot under pressure and they um, yeah ah, okay. God is getting we jealous. are family <laughs> I got all my friends with me <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys I feel a little bit separated sometimes <laughs> no no this shouldn't happen yeah, 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 yeah. but in general I have the weekend with Lorena don't worry I will be there. After this, you will be totally exhausted. I'll be there. <laughs> I can promise. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so, yes, um, things we can talk about. Uh, Jörg, you did listen to what I was talking about uh, with Tarkan. Um, it's impressive, don't you think, compared to what you know how uh, underwater rugby is structured in uh, Germany? Yeah, it's, uh, I would say in a it's uh, where you play underwater rugby and uh, in, a, in a system like in Turkey I think you have one option when you think about every day six hours training option yes uh, try to get a us here in a, in, a, in a pool and even they pay whatever yes the second it's, month it's five not possible thousand, five even thousand euro in a month even that with money. This would be cheap uh, in, in Germany yes. to rent a, yeah. rent so a pool right. for that money. For, for those who didn't uh, uh, listen, in the beginning I had an uh, uh, interview with uh, Tarkan uh, uh, um, from uh, Turkey, from Ege, and he was uh, telling us a little bit about uh, the structure of his club Ege on the water rugby in Turkey. And uh, it's a really... Uh, uh, on one way, it's uh, like a business enterprise organized around the family structure and fun of the sport. So he's no, using the, the, f the love for the sport and the family collection and the network of the family to, to make a business out of it. Tarkan, is, it's his main uh, job uh, and his main income to work as an underwater rugby coach. If they have, uh, because I didn't hear the interview, I was uh, taking pictures, if they have every day six hours, uh, the thing is, even if we had that time, we wouldn't have the people coming to the training because True. everyone is, is, is training. So it's because he's working with it's children it's that he has the opportunity. It's really a business school, uh, 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 like approach. a business approach. approach uh, yeah. It's like uh, he 
here the top uh, uh, sportsmen are sponsored by the federations and uh, you have to look about always uh, where's what is important for this for the but, government but and for the federation sure. The opportunities are different in Turkey, it looks like. The possibilities are better. And when Tarkan talks about uh, the future, he will build his uh, own pool. He, al he already uh, created his own underwater rugby fins uh, in the selling them, the RS fins, which are comparable a little bit to the Nayade, a little bit heavier. Haven't tried them out yet, but I heard from uh, other players. So uh, producing own fins for underwater rugby, building a pool for underwater rugby, having a club with 200 members, uh, with uh, all playing underwater rugby, and organizing it as a, as a business enterprise around the family core, uh, which is centered about caring for each other. Uh, he, his first uh, uh, um, factor is uh, the, the education of his kids. So very impressive. Let's go back into the game here. Uh, Barcelona against Firenze and uh, Firenze tries uh, now to put pressure on the Barcelona basket because they know they have to score in the first minutes. Uh, otherwise, uh, the little bit more dominating Barcelona team will uh, stay uh, uh, in front of the basket and they need the, the quick goal um, to, uh, to start uh, uh, this second half with a, with a score. Mm, okay, that's wrong. Orcas flipper. No, we are not watching Orcas flipper. Just uh, that's a mistake on the, on the screen. Um, we are watching Firenze Barcelona, the second half, and there's a still a zero zero. So uh, now we see there was a call. Oh, there was a score. There was a score by. Um, where? By Barcelona? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I'm very confused here because they uh, started, they were all... Started the game again. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm Sorry, confused. I didn't see it. I uh, was the, the uh, concentrating on the audio uh, uh, configuration here. So we didn't get it if there was a score. So... Um, yeah, if you've seen it in the, we got a, a, the live stream, uh, we have a delay in the live stream, so maybe we can see it as kind of a replay. It was a goal for Italy, yes. Yes, uh, well, they did it, like I said, uh, they uh, went, they used uh, the, the speed in the, in the first seconds and uh, grouped themselves around uh, the Barcelona basket and uh, scored. Interesting because the, the game seemed it belonged to Barcelona in the first half but uh, Firenze now started with a goal and uh, probably used their uh, more experience to establish this goal. We don't have it in the counter, it should be one for uh, 1-0 for Firenze. Uh, this is interesting. This is, looks like another Firenze uh, team. They uh, they had in the first uh, in the first in half. The first half, like yeah. They woke up. This More is what agile. I was talking to Gabriel. I'm like, guys, you always wake up in the second half. What's <laughs> going on? And he said, Yes, I know. I know. We know that, and we are working on that. Well, if you if you succeed in uh, uh, bringing the first half behind you with a zero zero and start with a one zero in the f in the second half, uh, it's working out. Uh, you just have to if you know what is happening. If you don't, if you know the first half is not your best, uh, you just uh, uh, stay uh, in defense. <laughs> it's an interesting tactic. So we have a Firenze attacking and. Uh,